just getting back to playing as hard as that and being as tough as that, then also getting back to following sky report details and being more detail oriented and not just going out there trying to do what you think could get the job done, but going out there and following the sky report and doing exactly what coach tells you to do on defense and following through and doing your job. What has been missing these last two years in terms of that identity here, that effort, or however you want to put it? Uh, just things to get back to um, being tough, the toughness factor, and, and more of a culture. I, I, a lot of people following details. I mean, if you got, Coach always says it takes three people to mess up, mess up a defensive play. So if you got two guys following the perfect details, doing exactly what they know exactly what they're supposed to be doing, and you have even one guy mess up one scout's assignment, maybe help too much or don't help at all, it can mess up the whole play, make the whole defense without a sink. So just everybody being on the same page, that's been a problem. But it also falls back to people who actually paying attention, just caring for it, locking in on the details and being engaged the whole 35 seconds. Coach Painter has talked a lot about, um, even in this preseason, about getting back to making good decisions and things like that on offense. Does that affect defense as well? I mean, if you're not making a good decision on offense, what's the correlation to that between things not working out on defense? Uh, I feel as though if you take a good shot on offense, make a good shot or get a good shot, it's, it usually goes back and sets your defense. And if you don't turn the ball over, it sets your defense. So if you go down, you turn the ball over, your defense is on the run, you're on the move, everybody's scrambling. And also if you go down, you take a quick, bad shot that no one's expecting, the rebound balance is bad, and you got the other team get on the break and your defense is still scrambling. So if you get a good shot, or if you uh, make a good shot or take a good shot, usually your defense gets back and it gets set, and the other team has to go against a set defense in half court. Uh, really just to see how we play. Um, just to see how we play together and really just not against each other and just to see how we uh, put our plays in really because I know everybody's going to play hard. It's the first game. Everybody's going to be excited. That's really just the other thing and see if everybody can remember what we've been doing in practice. You expect it to be kind of a little bit of a process. All, all the new guys you have, you were in that position a couple years ago where you were a freshman and you know, I, I'm sure you were a little more comfortable at the end of the year than you were at the start of the year. You expect it to be a little bit of a process for... Uh, it's going to be a process for a couple of people, but most of them, everybody's just ready to play. That's how I feel. I don't think it's going to be too much of a process because everybody's just been waiting to play, so I think it's just going to be a pretty good game. And then after that, everybody moving on. Just a couple of people, you know, people banged up right now, but other than that, everybody should be good Sunday. AJ, just... How have you progressed these first two years, and how do you, how do you feel like your game has has uh, gotten better this year? Uh, uh, just coming in, putting the extra shot, trying to move my game out, really, and then just a couple things I just need to work on, really, just still just be uh, running the court, uh, just conditioning, just running the court. But other than that, just trying to get better position, trying to. Not always just block shots, just trying to prevent them, actually just trying to stop them before they get there, actually get back position. Like, if he's driving baseline, get out there before he gets there. So that's just good for Do you feel more comfortable with, with your shot further away from the basket right now? Yes. Why? <laughs> because I've been practicing. <laughs> I mean, you showed at the tail end of last year that you were getting more comfortable shooting, you know, the longer jumpers. Just... I mean, how much how much work did you put into that this summer? Uh, I didn't put a lot of work into it because I still got to stay with my post game. I got to stay with what, what my bread and butter is. But other than that, I just put a little more work into it just because I know when I play with Isaac, I'm going to have to move out anyway. So I just need to work on it a little bit, not too much. How has Isaac helped make you a better player? Uh, just getting beat up every day gets you used to it. Then um, going to get somebody that size, trying to shoot over somebody like that. And then... China, you got to change your moves up because you get used to it. So it's just been a great battle, really. I'm not sure you're going to see the type of size that you deal with every day in practice on Sunday, but what, is it nice to be seeing somebody else for a change on Sunday with your, your guys' first game? Yeah, it'd be great. You know, it'd be great to start catching elbows all day. So that would be, it'd be, a, it'd be a change of scene. So that'd be good. Been impressed with Isaac's transition from high school to college basketball, and and how has AJ helped that? Oh yes, yeah, uh, at, at the beginning it was rough for him. I feel like it was a little rough for him, but I know with uh, him competing every day and everybody on him, he's he's grown. So, uh, and AJ's helped him a lot. AJ's always in his ear. AJ's always always talking. So, uh, you know, I think that's helped him a lot too. And uh, he's coming along real well. With those two, Isaac being here has kind of forced AJ, when they are going to play together, mm -hmm. to 
kind of step his game out. We mm. saw flashes of that last year. AJ hit those mid range jumpers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How's his game developed with that mid range game? Uh, it's uh, developed a lot. I feel like uh, he's worked on. He's put a lot of time in it, and he's uh, able to knock it down consistently now. So uh, that's really going to uh, benefit uh, me. You know, and I don't always have to try to find him in the in the post, and he can he can pop out. And uh, so it's uh, it's really beneficial, and uh, I think he's coming a long way. Personally, I know you and John have had a, had your hands full guarding each other every day in practice. Are you excited to look forward to playing somebody else on Sunday? Oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited for the game on Sunday. Uh, and, uh, I think all of us are. I think all of us are tired of beating up on each other. All of us are beat up right now, so uh, I think we're ready uh, to go at somebody else.